Hey everybody, this is Rocky. I'm here with my friends from FaveDiets.com and today we're going to be making some stuffed acorn squash. This is going to be the perfect side dish to put on your holiday table. So let's get started. So I have my acorn squash already cut in half and what I also did was I just took my knife and uh, took the skin off of uh, the back side of each one just so it sits better in my pan. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the seeds. I'm going to shoot my uh, acorn squash down with some olive oil spray. And I'm going to sprinkle them down with some sea salt. I'm putting my acorn squash in a baking sheet that I shot down with some olive oil spray. And I'm putting them face side down, so the flesh side down. And I'm going to put them in the oven 425 degrees for about 20 minutes. All right, now I'm going to go ahead, it's been 20 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and flip these guys over to the other side. Put that nice brown on them. This is going to be so delicious. All right, and then back in the oven they go for about another 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, just until they're tender. Now I'm going to move on to the stuffing. Uh, what I have right here is uh, some Morningstar breakfast sausage links that I've just uh, defrosted a bit in the microwave and I've sliced, chopped them up. Uh, some minced garlic some uh, fresh chopped sage, and then also some uh, diced up onion. I have a pan here that I have uh, heated up and uh, shot it down with some olive oil spray. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my sausage, my garlic, my fresh sage, and my onion. I'm gonna let this saute for a while until my um, onions get nice and soft. So my onions are starting to look translucent and uh, starting to get soft. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add a little bit of some chicken broth. Just a little bit. Uh, and then just kind of scrape up the bits off the bottom. Now if you don't want to use chicken broth, you can use vegetable uh, broth. You can also use uh, just some water. I just thought chicken broth would uh, add a little bit of flavor, a bit more flavor to the dish. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and add some spinach. So at this point on my pan, I have it set pretty low. I'm going to go ahead and add in a couple of handfuls of spinach and then just let this cook until the spinach is wilted down. Uh, my stuffing, my spinach is nice and wilted now. So I'm going to go ahead and add in just a little bit of sea salt. And then also, um, I'm going to add in some wheat germ. Now wheat germ is something I usually use in place of uh, breadcrumbs, but you could definitely use breadcrumbs if you'd like. You can also use uh, some chopped up nuts if you have those on hand. Um, you just want something to add a little bit more heartiness and a little bit extra, no, just it's another layer of flavor in your, um, your stuffing. So this is just about good to go. I'm just going to go ahead and wait for my squash and then I can start stuffing. Look at how gorgeous these guys look. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuffing in. These look so good. What I'm gonna go ahead is uh, put down a little bit of cheese on uh, each one of them. Delicious. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pop them back in my oven until the cheese is melted. Mm. 
the acorn squash is nice and soft and, and sweet just from the roasting. And then you add that with the stuffing that we just add, we just put in. You got like the mix of the savory from the spinach and the sausage and the garlic and the onions to the sweet of the acorn squash. It just makes a perfect combination. And again, something that would really be a good side dish for your Thanksgiving, for your Christmas. Mmm. Delicious. And then you can also, if you're thinking about it, if you wanted to add in some cranberries, um, you maybe add in some mixed, some uh, chopped nuts and some cranberries to make it a little bit more like Thanksgiving geared. That'd be delicious. You can also do something like totally different and make it kind of like a Southwest style stuffed acorn squash. And maybe put in some green chilies, some black beans, some corn. Uh, again, maybe some breadcrumbs or some, you know, like I did some wheat germ, but there's so many possibilities. Just toss whatever you have left over at the end of the week into an acorn squash, pop it in the oven, and there you go. Perfect side dish or meal. So if you have any questions, just go ahead and put them below. The nutritional facts, the full recipe, um, pictures will be on my blog spot, which I'll post below. And until next time, enjoy. Bye.